हेलो चिल्ड्रेन इन टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रिक्शन सो वॉट यू मीन बाई फ्रिक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विच इज द एक्शन ऑफ वन सर्फेस और ऑब्जेक्ट रबिंग अगेंस्ट वन अनदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू रब योर हैंड्स वॉट विल हैपन इट विल प्रोड्यूस हीट राइट सो टू एस्केप फ्रॉम द कोल्डेस्ट प्लेस यू विल जस्ट रब योर हैंड्स टू प्रोड्यूस heat so that you will feel a little warmer similarly when you ma- when you strike a match stick on a rough surface the flame will be produced so there also friction plays a role got it so friction means rubbing against one, an object rubbing against one another clear so let us discuss few real time examples based on the concept friction you might have seen a driver of a car or a truck slows down the vehicles at a traffic signal so even when even when you are riding a bicycle if you see a red light on the uh, traffic signal what will you do you will immediately apply brake and you will stop your bicycle so have you ever thought why a vehicle slows down when brakes are applied and not only vehicles any object which moves over the surface of another object will slow down when no external forces applied on it finally it will stop so what is the reason behind it it is because of the friction between the surface and the object just think of an example in case if you are moving a ball on the ground it will stop after some time yes in case if you are not going to move the ball further on the ground so what is the reason behind this it is because of the friction between the ball and the ground so that is the reason when no external forces are applied on a particular object which is already moving it will comes to it will come to rest and finally it will stop got it even you can take one more similar example when uh, the reason why do we slip when we step on a banana peel see here in this picture a boy falls down when he steps on a banana peel so what is the reason behind this it is because of the friction a uh, force which acts between his foot and the banana peel so when two irregular surfaces comes in contact it it, it causes the friction over there clear and let us see what is meant by force of friction so to understand about this concept let us do a simple activity to understand about this so you will need a book and a table to perform this activity just place a book on the table and gently push the book from one end with your hand so if you push the book from here what will happen the book will move to a certain distance and it will stop yes so after some dist- after moving certain distance it will stop immediately only one time you are applying a force here on the book so the force which you apply from your hand it depends upon the force how much force you apply on the book the book will move to that much distance so it dep- it it is between the book and the surface of the table where a friction friction plays a role clear similarly just push the book from the opposite end so if you push the book from the opposite end what happens again it will move to a certain distance and it will stop immediately so what is the reason behind this it is because of the force that is acting on the book which opposes its motion so how much force you apply on the book so that much distance the book will move and it will stop immediately this force is called as the force of friction clear and the force of friction acts between the surface of the book and the surface of the table so a friction plays a major role between the surface of two different objects clear and see here what is friction in case if you are moving a box which is there on the table you will move the box from this particular distance uh, from this direction similarly how you pushed the book in the previous picture so if you push the book from in this direction what will happen the motion will act in the straight direction in the straight line but uh, friction will always be opposite to the direction of motion if motion is acting towards this direction friction will always be opposite towards the motion so this is how a friction is applied uh, clear and let us see what are the factors affecting friction so the factors that affects friction to understand about this let us do a simple activity to do this activity you will need a spring balance see here in this picture this is how a spring balance will look like a, a spring balance is a nothing but a device which is used for measuring the weight of an object as well as to measure the force that is acting on an object so the spring balance you will need as well as a brick and then a string you will need to which is uh, to be tied on to the 
breaker so what you have to do the, do here is just tie a string around the brick like how they have shown in the picture you have to tie a string around the brick and then you have to pull the brick by a spring balancer and you have to apply some force while pulling the brick see here they have tied a string on the brick as well they have tied the other end to the spring balance on this hook and you have to pull this spring balance so when you start to pull you have to make a note whether the brick is being pulled clear so after that you have to note down the reading on the spring balance when the brick just begins to move so once the brick just begins to move you have to make a note on the spring balance so what is the reading actually it shows so that gives you a measure that the force of friction between the surface of the brick and the floor see here this is how a spring balance reading will be so if you look at the spring balance certain readings will be provided here in the scale so once you pull the brick the scale which are the, the measuring unit will be displayed here so how, how much force you are applying on the brick will be extended based on how much you stretch the spring balance clear and even you can repeat this activity by covering a polythene cover around the brick and do the same activity by pulling using the spring balance because so when there is no polythene cover has been covered on the brick what will happen the the surface the friction between the surface and the brick will differ similarly if you cover the brick with a polythene cover what happens the surface and the, uh, the, the friction between the surface and the polythene cover will differ similarly what will happen even you can try it with a jute backer just cover the brick with a jute backer and try to repeat the same activity so repeat this uh, activity by covering or by wrapping uh, different pieces of cloth or else a jute bag or else a polythene cover and try to observe the readings so you will be able to understand what is the actual um, force of friction between the surface and the brick has been applied clear i hope you understood this concept children thank you